Thank you, Peter. Um, hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Guten Abend. Guten Tag. Bon après-midi. Kalimera. Good day. My name is Sofia Xenidis. I am 17 years old. My father is Greek. My mother is German, Maria Schneider. And I myself have the Belgian nationality. At school, I'm studying human science. And I was asked to share with you how I met the Belfort Group and how I became interested in chemtrails. I first heard about the Belfort Group through my mother. She had discovered the Project Camelot website and was specifically searching for like-minded people here in Belgium. Bill Ryan pointed her to the Belfort Group. Then one Thursday evening in February this year, we decided to watch a video clip where Peter Verreke was being interviewed about chemtrails. Until then, we had never paid attention to those white cloud lines in the sky. The next day at school, I happened to look out of the window when I noticed four airplanes fly over our town, spraying a chessboard pattern of chemtrails, one thick line neatly next to the other. I was shocked to realize that what I had seen in the video clip was really going on right here and now, above my own head. After school, I went straight home. I was in a state of panic and shock and could not stop crying. I felt so threatened and helpless. My mother then proposed to attend an open meeting that the Belfort Group happened to have the next day and by coincidence, right on the issue of chemtrails so that we could learn more and meet these people. We did go to the meeting and this is how we came to be involved with the Belfort team. Since then, there is hardly a day that I do not see at least some of those airplanes. They almost always fly when the sky is clear and blue. And the day after, it very often rains um, or the sky is completely covered with a thick layer of uh, clouds with no sun coming through. There are also days when it looks like an intense military offensive is taking place and when I can observe hundreds of aircraft passing overhead the whole day long from early in the morning right through into the night when they still keep flying even in the dark and I can not see the white lines under the moonlight. It is quite scary to know that the air we breathe is not what it's supposed to be that the food we eat and the water we drink contain traces of those substances which are sprayed out over all of us as though we were being poisoned like insects. The feeling that this is causing me are feelings of deep anger and rage. I don't want to be poisoned, I don't want to have be infected with cancer, and I'm just so angry that this global poisoning can be going on on such a massive scale and not enough is being done to stop this crime. I find that many more people need to be alerted to what is going on. Everybody must wake up and start protesting against it. This is the reason why I actively use my own social contacts and internet to post information or video clips specifically on chemtrails, but also on many other uh, issues of injustice in this world. I consider myself a representative of my own generation and even though I don't know other teenagers yet who are equally awake, I certainly hope that many others will have their eyes opened. The point is that we need to unite forces in order to fight against this injustice. And this is just exactly the reason why we have come together here today from various European countries as well from overseas to unite our forces and to force change. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your kind attention.